Kenny Beats, the other white guy in a baseball camp who's just released his first solo project. It's called Louie, which I believe is named after his father after he was diagnosed with cancer. I'm really interested to see what this is going to be because obviously we know Kenny is an amazing producer, but not necessarily as a lead artist. Guys, as always, this is Uncut on the Patreon. Come and join the realest ones. I will say if you're going to join up today, August 31st, maybe delay until tomorrow because Patreon will charge you at the beginning of the month and today. So just a little heads up for you there. Otherwise, Kenny Beats, Louie, let's do it. And your mother capitalized on Lou only. She loved Lou. Lou wants you Lou all the time. <laughs> Hey, hey, Lou. Hey. Okay. Mm. Like, if you're going to give me a 30-minute album that just sounds like this on a sunny day here in England, I'm here for it. Sounded like something off that Vince Staples project. Give me that old school soul sound at any point, at any time of year, any time. Also parentheses, parent, his dad, clever title. Mmm, bass doing work. Mmm. Kind of giving me Avalanche's vibes, if you know that record from back in the day. If the whole thing is going to be basically an instrumental, cut up samples type of album. Hey, Kenny Beats is just that guy. He really is. The first thing I have to tell you is this. Ooh. Drums are crazy on this one. I said, fuck your mom, fuck your sister, fuck your fucking sperm donor of a father. I'll shoot your daddy and up in a clock backside. That's slow time. I think this is just a shades on record. Like a dog, need a muscle love. I told this bitch I'm cuddle, but I'm cuddle. Oh yeah, it's slow time. No feature written in the Spotify. But I know they're mates. I can already tell this is gonna soundtrack a lot of the rest of my year. So I don't want to put something on for vibes. I don't think I've done an instrumental record actually. Is a reaction. Not that I mean this is got lyrics, but do you know what I mean? Mm. It's like a sort of dub sound here. A slower BPM. Kenny, this is just an absolute delight to listen to, an absolute treat. Thank you. Like, we shouldn't be surprised that the engineering and the production and the mix and everything is so good. It sounds fucking good in my headphones, let me tell you. Yesterday, or no, day before, I recorded my reaction to the DJ Khaled God Did project, and I got no, despite all of the artists involved, 
all of the different lyrics just through so many artists being involved, different production elements, everything like that. But I gained no real emotional connection to any of it. It kind of just felt dead to me. And I thought, well, this is just something to do with me. Why is this not gonna, why is this not moving me at all? Yet yeah, here we have something com almost completely stripped back. Yeah, there's a lot going on musically, a lot of layers to it. And like I say, there's, there's expertise in the production here. But like, I'm getting, and I'm, I'm getting moved by it. I'm getting an emotional connection to it. And I know that it runs deeper in terms of, the reason this album was created to do with his father and, and the diagnosis and everything like that. But just purely from a musical point of view, it's touching me and it's making me feel a way. And it just goes to show that sometimes that music by committee, I think, is never a good idea, which seems to be what that DJ, well, that's kind of what that DJ Khaled project reminded me of. I'm not really comparing the two albums. It just happens to be the last two albums that I've covered and reacted to and filmed on this channel. But here I'm just in a nice pleasant vibey space with this record and i know i'm going to play it a lot i can tell already unless it completely changes into something else the second half hey! mm, love the drums on this album man hmm? Penny. sitting here vibing to this great record and I guess it's not like reacting to an instrumental it's not quite an instru instrumental album but you know what I mean it's difficult so I'm supposed to be talking and giving my thoughts but it's like the music's kind of speaking for itself it's just really really enjoyable and it's an album that I know like I said I'm going to play a lot because it reminds me of listening to the avalanches when I was younger just vibing out cut up samples that 70s sounds bit of soul bit of jazz bit of funk all that sort of stuff but it, a little bit, no, maybe not disco. A little, it's all, it's all tied in there, though. Maybe this is the music that he grew up listening to in the house as well, and that that's tied in with his dad. I'm not sure, but ultimately, as a listening experience, it's just a treat, an absolute treat. Hi, I'm Ken Bloom. Happy to be here. Hmm. We're at the perch. We're just doing good stuff all the time. Is his dad a DJ? Radio DJ. To all the Okay. Help us out. Look, 
It's giving me my feelings a little bit, man. That these are like real clips of him being a kid and his dad. You know, it's got me thinking about my own kids as I get older, just turn 40 myself, and you know. Time moves so fast, man. It really does. It's the cliche, but it does. So we've got to give a shout out to Kenny Beats as well, like producing this album as his first solo project, really hitting it out of the park. Oh, don't know if I say hitting it out of the park, that's not an English thing to say, but you guys know what I mean. But also for really like showcasing what a producer is in 2022 and kind of evolving the craft, you know, with the cave, with the Twitch streams, with the, the extra levels of content, I think it's done a great job helping raise the level of, uh, in terms of the public's perception into what a producer does, but also like the enjoyment and fun of the creative process. You know, we listen to all these records and have done for years, and some of it's shrouded in mystery. Obviously, there's footage from recordings that have been around forever. But just getting you know, like an insight into just seeing creative people enjoying each other's company and just creating for creating sake, like we see on The Cave, I think it's been really good, and again on the Twitch streams as well. I just like the fact that Kenny has become multifaceted in this in this way, and also multifaceted in the types of music that he's producing, the types of beats that he's producing, and doing stuff with idols as well as all the hip hop stuff. And now this, just shout out to Kenny, man. Like, guys, uh, he's a phenomenon to be honest, but kind of like a low key guy as well. Really cool. Okay, finishing with some energy. Oh, it's like melancholy in the guitar as well. It's an unusual combination. I don't recognize who that is. Kind of an unsettling energy to this one. Mm, chaotic. That was a fucking impressive project and a kind of strange reaction, if I'm being honest, in terms of like, I don't really know what I was supposed to do. I've never really reacted. Like I said, to an instrumental album, and okay, technically it probably wasn't quite an instrumental album. I just repeat myself. That was just a real treat to listen to, and it was emotionally resonant as well. Musically, but also some of the themes going on there that was coming through the music and obviously the, the, the samples of his father, of young Kenny. I'm assuming those are legit, but whether they are or not, actually, it doesn't actually matter. Just purely as a musical experience, man, like... I can't say anything else. That is going to get played a lot. I'm going to be playing that all year and beyond. Just a real treat. Shout out to Kenny Beats. A treat from the Beats. That bar wouldn't have made it onto the album. Guys, we're nearly at 400k, so please do hit subscribe. Um, you know you get a wide variety of reactions on this channel, whether we're doing an amazing Korean pop music to underground hip-hop to rock, also everything, you know. If you're here for the music, you're here for this channel. Come join the real ones and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next one, right? Not otherwise. Subscribe. Why am I saying otherwise? Catch you on the next one.